Hey, what's up? Sick and Me Comics. This is part four, the last of the books from Hawaii. All right, let's get into it right after this intro. Shoot. So let's get into the book. So after three and a half years, finally came back to me. Uh, once again, huge, huge thanks to the Doom 143 for holding this book for me and sending it to me. Um, so let's get into this. So this was part of the AOK from Alex the Comic Holder. This is uh, Avengers invaders uh number one this is the variant um i guess this when dynamite did some things not too sure but uh definitely a cool cool ass cover um uh yeah this is dollface number one uh this is the local comic shop day the variant uh believe this could be the second or well, the third appearance of Dollface. Uh, so, yeah, really great. Dan Mendoza cover. Dark Avengers number four. Uh, this is the, uh, I believe this is one of the 25 incentive variant. Not easy to come by. Um, ah, Figment. Figment number one. This is one of the 50. Oh, was it one of the 100? But I remember uh, Disney had was doing some movies and uh, yeah, I don't know. Just thought that was cool to have something. It would have been cool if there was Mickey Mouse or something, but nah. Uh, but yeah, um, Figment number one, um, one out of 50, I believe. Or it could be one out of 100. Eh. But it's a variant cover. Uh, Wonder Woman 316, uh, 613. Um, Alex Garner, uh, variant, one out of 15. Yeah, I believe it's one out of 15. Um, still, go for decent price in raw. Uh, I think 9 equals for about 250, 300. I think raw in this can go, for, can fetch around maybe 75, um, depending on the condition. Um, Captain Marvel number 14, um, this is the variant edition, I believe this is, uh, God, Sarantino cover, I'm not too sure, but I believe this is one out of 25, or could be something like that, uh, yeah, I don't know what that says, yeah, I don't know, I could be wrong on the artist, but cool, cool cover. Uh, this is Batman 21. Uh, this is the foil. I believe this was part of the uh, NYCC, if not San Diego Comic Con, if not New York Comic Con uh, foil variant of uh, Jason Fabok cover. Pretty cool. Uh, Judge Dredd number one. First American appearance in a comic or something like that. Very high grade. I was always think about getting this graded because it's pretty. Yeah, could be a nine six, could be nine eight. Who knows? Ah, I remember this EXO Man of War. This is the gold uh, variant. Remember, got this in in Hawaii for like freaking. I believe it was a dollar book or something like that. Yeah, really glad to have gotten that. Also, same place, dollar book, bloodshot number zero, gold edition. I always wanted to get this in a newsstand. Um, Amazing Spider Man 529, first appearance of Spider Man in Iron Suit, Iron Spider Suit. 
Um, so I'll try if you could get this in a newsstand, I think that's one that you would want to get graded. But I mean, still, it's a it's a cool first appearance. Uh, I believe Spider-Man will get another suit coming up on uh, ASM sixty one. There's gonna be a, like a so what cameo. Then uh, I guess he will full uh, stealth mode on his new suit on ASM sixty two. So be on the lookout for that. Um, ah, such a hard book to get in nine eight. Uh, since this is an homage to ASM. 30, I believe the last panel in, in the interior art. Uh, this is a second print variant uh, done by Audi Granoff. Just love this. Just really, really hard to come by you know, in a in a very high grade. And so what? It's kind of hard to find as well too in the wild. Of course, my number one cover of Spider-Man all time is just this right here. This is the um, um, Spider-Man number one. Um, Tom McFarlane art cover story and in, still in a bag. And also it's a newsstand. So um, I got a two. Also there's a silver edition that actually came in as um, in a poly bag, but doesn't have the price guy price um, price logo on it or price on the uh, on the corner box there. So two of those, and of course the gold edition. Still that newsstand still hunts me, uh, but still need to get that. But yeah, definitely very happy to get this, and of course the Green Lantern number twenty and the new fifty two run. People say it's just the hand, it's a cameo, but a first appearance is a first appearance. Um, just love the cover. Um, you know, I believe Justice League 30, if not Green Lantern 31 or something like that, was uh, Jessica Cruz's uh, full appearance. But hey, you know what? I'll take this cover and the cameo appearance uh, any day, regardless of what the market says. Um, yeah, this is also the uh, the combo pack variant. I already have this in a 98. Should get this graded. This is definitely a 98 candidate as well. All right, so the last of the books will be all original art um, that has been not graded. That was given to me as an AOK. -okay. Um, uh, I think one in this pile is going to be. Uh, prize winner uh, from Dresher's um, contest of like a few years ago. This was my very first commission piece that I got him from the members of the uh, YouTube. This is 7i um, I Samurai. I don't know if he still does um, YouTube, um, but a great guy, great artist. Which is, I remember when I got this, I told him that this book will be, or, or this piece will be in all of my hauls. And i sorry I came short on that for many, many of my hauls that I've done. But definitely really glad that I got this back in my collection again. So yeah, I think this probably will be end up somewhere over here. Um, yeah, so this was one of the, uh, uh, commission done by a uh, Dresher's friend. Uh, he also did the interior and the storyline for Pinolo. Um, so, yeah, this is one of a kind. Uh, keep seeking for New Me Comics. How's that, huh? Super, super stoked. Oh, wait. Yeah. Um, this was uh, part of the gift from, I believe, Comic Hoarder 1082 or something. I remember he did this. Uh, it was just. Martinez, yeah. So this was also 
um, another YouTuber back in the days. I think he still does YouTube. I'm not too sure. His goes off and on. Uh, but yeah, um, I remember I got did something and reached out to him, and he said he'll send me a original of, of art of his. Uh, of, I don't know, he's staying. So anyway, um, super, super happy to get this back again in my collection. And very last, this is, was my uh, prize winning from Dresher's, uh, the same artist that who did the uh, Pinolo. Um, he asked me what type of homage covers that I would like to have. And I said, you know, if Amazing Fantasy 15. And uh, he said, all right, he got it. And Behold, this is what he came out with. So super happy with that. Full cover, just, just, just real cool. So yeah, so this is the last part of my, uh, all the books that it was in Hawaii. The Doom 143 was holding for me. And uh, let me just highlight some few of the books that, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna put that right there like this. And um, yeah. Um, Share, comment, you know. Nah, I think I'll just do that. All right, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for uh, putting up with this uh, full part and uh, commenting and watching. Thanks for you guys' support. I just love showing off some books that uh, that I have in my collection. So, and some and some of the books that you see in this video and my other three video prior to this uh, will be. Uh, thinking about selling some few uh, because I am running out of space. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Aloha, mahalos. Until next time, shoots.